Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm Ribbert, this is gonna be one of my builds. Uh, today we are turning sims into money. Uh, what I mean by that is that I'm just gonna start making some cash in the city because last week I ended up breaking even-ish and now it's time to start making some cash. So, um, the first step I do towards uh, starting to make cash is to just build a lot more residences because I did have a lot of residential demand. So you can see me do that here. And I thought I had a bunch of uh, high-tech industry demand, but it turns out that, um, yeah, I, I didn't have that much demand and I think that is mainly because the education in the city is still pretty poor. So I'm gonna end up building, I guess I'm spoiling the video now. I'm gonna end up building some schools as well in order to start off that, uh, that climb along the educational uh, graph. And here you see me, uh, I, I did a lot of cutting out of menuing and stuff like that in this video. I'm trying to make it as dense in content as it can be, I don't know. I guess it could also always be more dense, but as you can see, this is a shorter video. Um, I think uh, the longer videos are a bit... They often have just a lot of... Uh, I wouldn't say dead content, but uh, they, they have a, a lot of parts that aren't as interesting to me. If I were to watch these videos, I wouldn't be as excited about some of the parts. So I'm trying to make it uh, more concise by editing out some boring stuff, even though uh, there's gonna be some bits like this in there. Cause yeah, I don't know. I think this was kind of constructive, watching me uh, build this road. So I'm planning to do a, a big residential neighborhood here with a, a small amount of shops. Just a couple of neighborhood shops. And as you can see here, I'm uh, using the uh, the network add-on mod for, uh, for getting some tram lines going. Those aren't part of the base game, so somebody did a lot of work making all those textures for the tram uh, mods because there's like the base textures of course and then there's an alternative version which has grass underneath it instead of pavement um, and then there's also one uh, where you can go into streets you can go into roads uh, so that's like uh, maybe a couple thousand uh, textures that somebody had to bake so uh, a lot of work went into that and I think it's a very nice mod. It, uh, yeah, it's it's just that little bit of flavor that it adds to a city to have like some trams running around and stuff like that. And I've been looking for some cool tram, uh, yeah, reskins for the cars. And here I derped out a bit and I fixed it, um, but they all seem to be relatively low quality i don't know if there's like a limit in the quality of um, of the of the moving vehicle stuff but it seems to me like there must be yeah the one downside of using this uh, street tunnel bit is that it doesn't have a texture for the single track wheel so i had to do the transition there but that's all right yeah so i'm planning to do a bit of an industry around here and uh, I wanted to, to hook up the industry directly to rails, so that's why I built a little rail line. I think I could do a lot more stuff with rails and stuff for industry. Maybe I'll do that in the next part of industry that I'll build, but I'll, I'll first need to grow a bit of demand for that, of course. And so over here, I'm gonna be doing a viaduct. I cut, off, cut out some of the derping around stuff because it was taking it was taking a while to get to this point where I decided to just go with this uh, setup 
Um, there's no di diagonal version for the flexible uh, underpass kind of stuff, so I had to figure that out first. But in the end, it, uh, I think it looks decent, but uh, you can see there's like the American road textures on some of those. And I was kind of hoping, well, I, I did install the European textures for a reason, so it's, it's not really sad, but uh, it's not really what I was looking to do here. Yeah, and here I'm trying to fix this rail, but it makes a weird horizontal bit in the middle, so I decided to redo it, so it just does the slope a bit more better, a bit better. I'm gonna be hooking that up over on that corner, which means I basically have to just rebuild most of this corner. Uh, I thought I cut a lot of this out though, I don't know what's going on, okay, I guess I'm a bit inconsistent in what I cut out. I guess it could have been more thorough, but uh, there's also, yeah, it takes a bit of time to do the editing and it's a learning process. So uh, please forgive me for not doing that perfectly. Yeah, so over here I wanted a bit of an, uh, an off ramp, kinda. It's not really a highway, but you get what I mean, I hope so that I could do like a connection over there and at, at the tile um, the industry touches both the rails and the road and that means that uh, what does that mean? it means that there will be uh, because uh, the industries they have like a a seat kind of uh, they have seat kind of buildings so buildings that start like an industry patch and then there's like um, extenders and there's something called outs which I guess are similar to extenders but I don't know what the big difference is basically but uh, so they have di three different types and you need like a seat I'm not sure if they're called seat but uh, the seat needs to touch the road and the others can just touch uh, a seat or even just an extender uh, uh, so there's like these little buildings, these little industry buildings that can just grow next to a seed building or indirectly connected to it through other of those uh, little buildings. So what I'm trying to do here is to grow that whole area uh, with just the one seed uh, next to the road. But somehow, oh, I think I know what happened there because there's another uh, bit that shows like the pavement texture, I think it is. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to see now. But there was another bit, and I think that's because of the, the starter piece I used for the single track rail. I think that's triggering some kind of pavement stuff. And here I was thinking about this whole tram bit. I just flattened this out. and I, I think you've seen me flatten stuff for like... Uh, well, depends on how long you've been watching. You've probably seen me flatten something before, so I just got that out. And here, I think that makes a nice little area over there. And over here, I'm gonna... I th I'm thinking about whether I should do a viaduct for the tram line where it crosses the road, because I think I should. And the reason... I could also just do an underpass system. I don't know yet, but I think it would look better if I have a viaduct there because it doesn't, it, it's a bit of a main road, right? So it, it, it's kind of weird that there's not a, a viaduct because the trams would hold up the, the, the road and even more so the other way around the roads, if it's crowded, would hold up the tram line and even more so than that. Um, there's like two intersections pretty close to each other right there now, which is always, I mean, in SimCity it doesn't really matter always, it does matter, but in City Skylines I learned that, uh, I learned to look at real life and how they did traffic from City Skylines, so that's kind of fun, but um, what they do in real life is that they 
avoid putting intersections very close to each other, especially on high traffic roads. Because every intersection um, has like the potential to, to create like a uh, traffic jam. And uh, having multiple intersections next to each other just exaggerates, exaggerates uh, that problem. So here I was quite ambitious with the industrial planning. Uh, not a lot of that industry ends up growing. But now I, uh, I wanted to do some different garbage sorting stuff. Uh, I don't have a lot of garbage mods. I looked at my mods and I was like, oh, okay, I guess I need some more mods for that. Uh, but I ended up just doing uh, the basic um, trash burner uh, factory thing uh, from Vanilla Sim City, and if you just set the budget to zero, it doesn't pollute as much. I hope, uh, but at least it doesn't cost you enormous amounts of gold for very small amounts of power that you get from that. And here I'm just trying to be random a bit, not too random, because I think these kind of shopping slash office areas tend to be quite planned and I just added another tram station I don't know if you need to put those tram stations that close to each other but I thought it would help maybe yeah it would help the the commercial over there grow and it would also help the industrial over there get uh, people for jobs and here I forgot to connect some power. And another problem that I'm having is that I am running out of juice. So I need to increase the budget in a minute here, which I'll be doing soon enough. Yeah, here I'm just trying to extend this kind of diagonal neighborhood. And yeah, I ended up raising a bit, but you can use the well, I don't know if you can use, but I can use <laughs> because I have a slope mode for the uh, for the highway stuff. So I use the the highway stuff to smoothen out that uh, slope over there. Uh, yeah, those roundabouts look pretty nice, but I'm gonna end up using um, the cobblestone over here as well, and that's gonna derp out the roundabouts a bit because they. I'm missing just one little corner piece going into the roundabout, which is sad, but whatever. Uh, yeah, so here I could have already known, because there's like those blue squares that are connected to the green power squares. So I could have already known that I was short on power. And uh, I'm gonna figure that out in just a little while. Yeah, right now. Here, boom. Get some more juice. I ended up lowering that budget a bit after checking what the base uh, monthly cost was, but I cut that out. And I think I'm about to start doing some school stuff. Yep, yeah. and I want one for the for the central island and I'm looking for a spot here. And I see a brown building, so I thought let's just make that into a school. I think uh, that building became uh, like decrepit because it's a high wealth building in a very underdeveloped city so that ends up uh, yeah it ends up the uh, abandoning a lot of the times because you don't have high education uh, sims yet and uh, that means that they can't find the workers for their stuff and you might also not have the the customers I don't know if the customers, I think customers is, uh, yeah, it's based on traffic noise, so I don't think that would actually play into that. Uh, yeah, as for the center island, I did find out that I'm, oh, okay, I didn't notice that it raised the, the school, so now there's like a, a little, yeah, like a retaining wall around the school. I think I'm gonna end up lowering that. But this is like a mountain team pack school, which has a bigger radius. I think it's decent for like less dense areas, which this is probably gonna be because there's a big slope in there. Uh, I don't know. I think the radius might be a bit cheaty, but then 
I don't know. I think I should just install some more schools that have different models. Especially the high schools I've found are pretty hard to find, but maybe I'm just not looking for the right keywords. Uh, yeah, here I'm uh, kind of finishing off this little industrial area over here. And I thought, let's just fill in those gaps with some more industry. Maybe that looks nice if it grows next to the water. And I'm using these marina walls as basically like an industrial kind of wall because I think they yeah, they are pr probably the most industrial sea walls uh, embankment stuff that I've found. And over here I thought I'd just spice up this little shoreline over here. With some plants. And now um, here's a Japanese mod that I found. Oh, I guess I'm in between I'm just doing some random stuff over here. I don't think I cut out that whole bit where... No, okay, yeah, I'm just extending the residential area first. And the reason I'm doing a square grid now is because I noticed how the straight roads have these... Because I installed like a street side decorations mod or something. Uh, I think it's by Jironji. It's on SimCity for Devotion. Um, but it doesn't have the diagonal uh, decorations, so that's kind of sad. Um, but I did like the, the little trees and stuff that they plop, and the, the cars and stuff. So I, th I thought, let's just do a square neighborhood and see how that looks after a while. Uh, over here, I tried to zone that bit, but it was facing towards the, tr the tram station. And I'm pretty sure that would have dirt out those lots. So I used the road to make the other side just as attractive. And it ended up working with the arrows pointing towards the way I wanted. Here I'm just checking if the tram line is working. And it's pretty, it's doing pretty good. Because um, the whole tram system is costing me like 150 simoleons per month. But it's it's making like 600 or something like that so it actually is a viable thing to do once you have like 10,000 sim sims yeah, or inhabitants I don't know I guess these games always tend to figure out their own names for inhabitants like uh, city skylines has sims with a c and I guess uh, EA wanted to tie this game in with uh, The Sims, the game that they launched pretty closely to launching this, I believe. Uh, I guess most people know what The Sims is. There's like uh, a lot of games of them. I did play the first one for a decent amount, but I ended up feeling like I, I knew what the game was and uh, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't really excited at some point to do more of that. Here I wanted to do a bit of a, a diamond park. Handmade diamond park and I ended up figuring it out. Without making a swastika in the process, so I'm proud of that. Um, yeah, here's some decoration. This is the second time I tried decorating that bit. The first time I went over the boundaries a bit too far. Um, here you still see some grass or yeah some plants hanging over but I, I'm gonna just assume that's like a, an overgrown bit it it's just a, a bit of plant that hangs over over there and a little diagonal fence there I think that looks that looks pretty nice I think this this uh, Japanese embankment stuff ties in pretty well with the old harbor set. At least it gives it some more variation. And yeah, it looks like I'm building this super fast, but I think I've cut like at least 20 minutes of scrolling through it. Nah, not. Well, probably in real time it was like 20 minutes. This is at four times speed, by the way. But I must have cut like 20 minutes of scrolling through menus out of the, the video. 
and it's also because I I just like to chill out when I build. And here you can see I'm almost making fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, a bit less, I guess. Well, I'm making well over uh, one thousand a month. And once you're at that point, you can just put the if if you're if you were in trouble with money, you can just put the the game on high speed and wait until you have enough to start your new project. So yeah, that's how I turned Sims into money or citizens in I don't know. So nice closing shot of some shops. I ended up speeding this up a bit because I felt it was a bit long, so now it's a bit shorter. Close up near the harbor, it's the bit we built like two episodes ago. This is the new area. I think it's already looking pretty nice. I'm kind of hoping for the diagonal wall to wall tenements to pop up at some point. I don't know if they will. Anyways, I want to thank you all for watching and I'd like to see you again. Goodbye.